Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. As the city of Mumbai runs short of both beds and doctors and the fear is very real about the virus travelling from big cities into the hinterland, will the future be remote medicine? Now you can see uh, what's being prepared here is a portable ICU container. It is uh, as uh, is written at the bottom of it, conceptualized by Dr. Lakravala. And uh, this is a very interesting concept which I think we need to pay close attention to. Tell us what's, what's, what's going on here. The idea was when uh, we realized that the number of uh, people getting sick with COVID would suddenly ramp up and there would be have many, many more patients. We have fixed ICU sets. If you create an ICU in a building, then there's a problem because most of the ICUs don't have negative isolation. By negative isolation, I mean that uh, you have to treat the air separately because the virus from one end can go to another patient and they can get infected. Yeah. So we had to think of something out of the box and this is something out of the box. So we designed an ICU in a box. So, so this would actually move on wheels yes. at the back of a truck? Yes. So if, let's say, the focus were to shift from Mumbai to the interior of Maharashtra, we can just move this and you have an ICU ready within two days there. So give us a sense of what's, what's going so on this inside. Is, this is, like I said, COVID is a disease that spreads and it's very contagious. So even when you open this door, if there is virus inside, it can just blow out and it can infect you. Mm -hmm. So we have an airlock door. When I go in, uh, the, the ICU is inside, I can't open this door. So there's an airlock, this shuts behind me and then opens. So just like this, I open it this way, and that's how I enter. Okay, there's, there's a washroom here. Mm -hmm. This is the place for the oxygen cylinders, as you can see. So this is where the oxygen cylinders yeah, all lie here. Yeah. Oxygen cylinders will lie here. Yeah. And then the oxygen bed, I mean the ventilator, the bed, everything will lie here. So we just uh, see from the side. Okay, so it is dark here and we'll kind of go through uh, to the other side as this portable uh, ICU container is being, is bed, is, yeah, is being prepared. Uh, but let me ask you this, if, okay, let's walk across and see, so tell us what's here. So this is how the bed will be, there'll be a ventilator on one side, there'll be oxygen tubing, there'll be monitors. The idea of these uh, ventilator, I mean oxygen uh, ICU containers was, you can see on the top out over there, that's the area from where it's like an exhaust and the virus will go up. Now if you can turn around on that side, on the top you'll see those are exhaust things. Where? Which side? Which side? On the top. Top of the container. Oh, I see. So if you see at the, at, at the top, right at the top, that grey shaft. That grey shaft is what you're talking about. What is that? That's the, the exhaust that will pull the virus out from inside the uh, ICU. And then you come to this area where it will be connected to something like this. These are the virus burners. So what will happen is the air will come like this, get connected here. It will have an HEPA filter. That will be the first source of cutting out the virus. The next will be uh, heat, which will burn the virus. And third, eventually, will be um, a steam. Which will, so if you were to stand here without a mask, you'd still not get infected. But tell me, when you say a portable ICU container, it would not travel with doctors. The doctors would be here. People like yourselves, people like Nita would be here in Mumbai remotely managing this? Yes, so the idea was that the number of professionals and the number of expert uh, doctors that we have will be very limited to manage the number of patients who will get sick. So my idea was that someone who's totally not even qualified or probably a, a level nurse who's probably never trained in the ICU can wear Google glasses, go inside and the monitors will be connected in such a way that she can get uh, the readings from the patient and everything else uh, and that can be transmitted to a war room. So she doesn't have to be a doctor? She doesn't have to be a she doesn't have to be a doctor. She can be a baseline nurse, and that image she'll transmit to the war room, wherein a doctor, who's a junior level doctor, who can probably learn how to intubate. He can because the only two times a, a doctor is needed inside, the only two times a doctor is needed inside an ICU, is when uh, a patient needs to be put in on a tube intubated yeah. when he's becoming sick, or when they have to put in lines like central line or arterial line. Otherwise, the doctor is not needed inside. He can give instructions on the phone and the patient so can... So, are you seeing this as the future of the, how the disease is to be managed? Yeah, absolutely. This should be the, the future and this is, I think, how the disease will be managed. And what will happen is the doctor in the war room will then connect, connect to an expert who's outside, who can then look at the parameters through the Google lenses like the nurse is seeing inside and completely manage the patient. 
Is there a lot of unlearning that has to go on? New learning and unlearning? Tremendous amount of unlearning because this is an unknown enemy. Sky fight is to be used for a modern enemy which has, I think, unseen fangs. So everything has to be remote controlled, e-way. And uh, the less personnel in contact with the patient, the better because it's a very, very infective disease. What brings someone like you out here every day? Some would say, you know, you're vulnerable. Uh, we, we, all of us of a certain generation are dismissed as old. I think we have more spirit than all these young people. But go ahead. I think age is just a number, Vaka. You know that. I, I, I'm totally not ages. I asked you this because there is a sense, you know, they keep saying, oh, if you're above a certain age, stay away. That's why I asked. I think we're just going by the records, but what you see on the field is the young boy is as vulnerable as the old. Yeah. I think it's just that I'm not allowed, my heart doesn't allow me to sit at home when I can do so much more outside. And I'm sure we are keeping each other safe. Yeah. You saw this when you went inside yes. yourself, Dr. Mufi went inside. So you have to take your precautions. Today it's a community spread. If I sit at home also, I'm going to get in. Might yep. as well come out, do whatever little bit I can as a doctor because that is the first thing that you go. When you're a first MBBS student, you want to save lives. And I think that is what we should take home today at whatever age. Bless you. Thank you.